Hello and welcome. Happy hour deals um, and the happy puzzle company. I am so excited. Look at all these puzzles. I want to know what everything does. I want to go on everything. Basically, I want to spend the next few hours playing with all of these, please. Uh, maybe the few next few months or next few years. Um, here, not only to take us through all these, but to show us and obviously to tell us all about the bargains. It's our Gavin. Hello, everybody. Leo I've never said morning. It's still not morning no, if, if it was morning i've woken you up just now <laughs> look everyone they let me loose with leone so this is good so hello create and craft world how are you all i hope you're having an absolutely awesome thursday and you're ready to do some very very early christmas shopping because that's what's happening do now. you know what you are 100 percent right at these prices we have got some incredible deals what i want you to do get on the website have a little look at some of the the goodies on that are on for before we get to them because we have got a lot to show you we might not be able to get down the whole counter so make sure you check out your baskets and then you can just chill out i'd love to hear from you if you've already got any of these incredible puzzles or anything else that our gavin has brought to you in the past uh, then please email us in you know how many hours has the family sat around playing do you share uh, with family and friends we would love to hear from your studio at creatingcraft.com and i know there's going to be loads of people because your shows are always so busy yes they are and yes, i would like to thank the, the lady who messaged me after the last show to say that my show had saved her marriage she never actually explained why <laughs> But she said I'd saved her marriage. Wow. Oh, heaven only knows what I did. Wow. There, you, there you go. It's amazing what you can do with your jigsaw. Leonie, do you know how yes. many shopping days there are left till Christmas? No, my friend. No, neither do I. <laughs> However, they are coming and they are going down. And last week was definitely 100 days until Christmas. I don't, so I don't we know. are going to blow the world apart mm -hmm. with some really original ideas here that will sort out everything. And the offers that we have got on today for you are literally mind blowing. You will not find these things cheaper anywhere else in this universe or any other universe. Mm -hmm. So time to do some serious shopping and Should you know, we get going? This. You know, know this, this because it's your company it is um, my company okay yes. now let's start and this is such a good idea so for only 15 pounds and 29 pence you launched this not long ago and it absolutely launched it here. flew yes um now your item number i'll give you all the details first and then we can crack on 196 255 <coughs> is your item number 15 pounds and 29 pence it's all you're paying club members you're saving almost five pounds there four pounds and seventy pence okay so this is a cracking idea because obviously jigsaw but but it's a football map oh my gosh you're talking presents that is genius right, can, can we see this here? yes look, look at just look at this thing so this is 300 pieces uh, and it's very high quality by the way if i turn this over anybody who does jigsaws will know that this is what we call blue board which is the high quality jigsaw board that you find it's 1.5 okay. millimeters now obviously we didn't cut this one all the way through otherwise i wouldn't be able to turn yeah, it around yeah i was going to say that Quite that's like that, that. We, we, that. <laughs> we cut it part the way through because one of the key things to mention not only with these jigsaws are they made in the UK but they're yeah. made by hand wow. as well which is how we're able to do this oh now, my gosh um, everybody knows somebody who absolutely yeah. loves football yeah. and one of the things that I was thinking about is the fact that it never ceases to amaze me how awful the knowledge of the geography UK uh, people have these days yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually embarrassing yeah. in fact I need to tell you this is a true story by the way yeah. that we once had one of our school presenters who was going to a school in Cardiff oh gosh. and uh, about an hour and a half later he returned and I said why are you back and he said well I got as far as Reading and I came back because I realized I'd forgotten my passport go figure whoa exactly wow or, or the lady who told me that she'd like to do a school in Newcastle the day after she'd done one in Brighton because she knew they were near each other <sighs> So, notwithstanding yeah, yeah. putting that right, uh -uh. if we can combine learning geography of yes. the UK with a love of football, yes, then we've got the perfect combination. So, what we have here is we have all of the football clubs that you could possibly want, uh, every single league club in the UK. You've got Scottish teams in there, Northern Irish, Republic of Irish and Welsh teams as well. And they are all shown on the map in their correct places mm -hmm. and they are colour coded so that you can identify them oh, by the board. And idea. also if you look on the side, you can see on the left of your screen, if we can shift just to the left of the football boots, there is the key that you can see so you oh, can tell cool. which league each of these ones 
ones plays it. And then you can go online and you can check to make sure that you've actually got them correct. That's so what really we're doing cool. here is not just building this as a jigsaw puzzle, yeah. but you're learning about the geography of the UK and understanding where things are relative to everything else. Now, Obviously, you've got a lot of football clubs in places like Greater Manchester. Yeah. As you can see, there's Greater Manchester. Uh, and also uh, in the West Midlands, around Birmingham, and also in Greater London as well. So what we've done is we've blown those sections up so that you can see more clearly the relative positions of all of those clubs. And similarly, you can see that we've done that in the Republic of Ireland because yeah. there are so many that are circled around uh, the Dublin area as well. So as a learning tool... Yeah. A person once said, don't ask me who it was, but it is definitely very true, is that children are very adept at dancing when they think no one is watching. Yeah, They're yeah. brilliant at singing when they think that no one is listening, but how do you get them to learn yeah. when they think nobody is teaching? Yes, yes, and yes. this is exactly the sort of answer. Yeah. It's a brilliant quote. I wish yeah. I knew who'd made that yeah. quote. Wish so, it had been me. 300 pieces, normally... £19.99. Wow. Today, your club price is at £15.29. So you are making an absolutely yeah. whopping saving in this happy hour deal. But there is limited stock and they are made by hand. There yeah. is a little delay on them, you need to be aware, because yes. they're made by hand, so they will take about 10 days to come. Okay. And that's because you're getting something which is beautifully boxed by a human being rather than a machine. I like that. Yes, me um, too. It is such a deal. And yet, yeah, presents, this is fantastic. And like you said, um, absolutely not just for kids. This is going to be great for so many age groups. And anybody who, who, who loves football, but yeah, it, it's already spiking their interest. And they've already got that, that common interest. Yeah. So it allows you to, to really like you say, learn without even realising you're learning. Now, how much has gone already? 10% of the stock has gone. That doesn't um, surprise me. No, me neither. I think that's a cracking idea. And obviously, when you finish a jigsaw, it's up to you. You can either tape it up so it actually you can put it on the wall, you can keep yep. it, or break it up, pass it on, do it again. Jigsaw now, glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get yourself to go down to your local, local uh, hobby-type place, craft shop. You can find the name hidden in there. <laughs> uh, and get yourself some jigsaw glue, and then you can actually frame it and have it on the wall. Uh, we put a guide age on this of seven to eight. Adult, right. Not because we're saying that children under the age yes. of seven won't Small have fun pieces. with this, but you've got 300 puzzle pieces. Yeah, and you've yeah, got yeah. to be able to cope with it. And if you move your hand one second, here is the key thing for me. Look at that. Made, made in, Britain. in Britain. Made in Britain. There you are. Yeah. And if we can get puzzles that are made in Britain and help, help traditional puzzling stay as much as possible in the UK, then that is worth its weight yeah, in gold. Yeah, love that. So, I also love your little sticker on the back. back. Uh, recycle me, upcycle me, or pass me on. I love that. Now, if you do want to go for this, 20% of the stock has gone. Um, the, uh, as our Gavin said, it's going out from about 6th of October, 196255, but a bargain, 1529. So, we're learning in geography uh, via the happiness that is football but we've got another and I must admit this is the one that really um, sings to me because I just think this is amazing um, this one this time we're going for the, the the landmarks this is ace because you could be planning your road trip you could be planning your holiday you could be seeing where you've been and immediately again you're learning you're learning the geography but it's super super interesting this and and it's chunky. This is a big piece it's of chunky kit. It's chunky and it's quite heavy and the pieces are ludicrously thick. Oh, these I love are that. These are white backed as well so they've got an additional layer yeah. uh, backing on them and you'll understand why uh, in a second by the way these are these puzzles are called geography do you know why they're called geography no i don't so geography is an abbreviation or uh. if you like an amalgamation of two words it's jigsaw and geography oh yeah of so course. jigsaw geography becomes geography yeah, so cracking. this is the geography landmarks of the uk and ireland it is a stunning puzzle which um is too big for us to build it's 50 by 75 when it's wow, built inside cool. there 150 pieces, uh, which is why this one can go a little bit younger. We can start at the age of six, yeah. but watch what this can do. Now, first of all, uh, these pieces are very big and very, very chunky. And what you won't be able to tell from this part here is that when the puzzle is actually built together, there are 25 holes that exist ah. in there. Now, what happens here is this. We have got 25 of these cards and they contain famous landmarks 
you'll see you've got the actual landmark. I don't know what was this one over here, Stonehenge over here, oh, cool. Wembley Stadium, and on the reverse you've got a little bit of the history of the place so you can learn about the place as well and I then you've got to position that. them in the right place so let's see what else we've got here apart from apart from that let's move these out of the way so we've also got here big ben the eden project hampton park the millennium stadium the valleys angel of the north the white cliffs of dover giants causeway lands end where i was a few weeks ago oh. uh, tower bridge ben nevis loads of things there's 25 of those oh, that really stand like vertically them. but in addition to that you then get the booklet because oh, wow. all of the other landmarks that appear on there appear actually on the map and you have to identify them and we have got here as follows a whole load of national parks and places of natural beauty oh, so with cool. information about all of them yeah and then when you turn over by the way there's there's 96 landmarks uh inside here as well wow. so uh more national parks and places of natural beauty if we keep on going over historic and tourist attractions everything from big ben to the albert docks St paul's cathedral the london eye port merion yeah i know i did start well <laughs> and then it all went downhill from there in the middle you've got the actual picture of what it will look like when it's finished with the lovely key that will identify all of the places for you um sports venue historic and tourist attractions castles and palaces bridges oh and botanical gosh. gardens and finally some museums cultural venues and then the one that fell under general because I literally couldn't fit it into any other <laughs> category was spaghetti junction oh my gosh that's Not it quite sure yeah, how you course. would otherwise define yeah, what, spaghetti junction yeah, well, yeah. yeah seriously seriously oh my gosh you're saving your it's, this is less wow. than half price if yeah. you think about it yeah. because you're saving eight pound ninety so this is just going to cost you the club price is eight pounds and nine pence and that is for this hour i love that it do you know what we say hour. do you know what we say on that otherwise. one oh lovely gavin you're sa you're saving more than you're spending you are saving far more than you are spending um, it's a cracker i want that i really like that 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 is so educational it's so informative just a booklet itself uh, but for eight pounds and nine pence not only are you getting something that that definitely will educate you all different ages but yeah it's beautiful as well because it's bright it's joyful now i love all the colors on there and it's a really good puzzle to put together great for all ages now if you do want to go for that eight pounds and nine p deal what's That's, not to like i know right what is not to like can i just tell you the numbers 025159 would they mean anything <laughs> to you right now <laughs> no they mean nothing to me um 025159 is your item number now next none of a kind what is this then so so let me give you prices let me give you numbers so not i love these shows because it's like what's that one do what's that one do nine eight 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 three seven now you're saving again you're saving six pounds club members obviously that's better you're saving six pounds and seventy pence you are only spending six pounds and 29 pence i spend more when i go into a shop for a coffee um and a little treat honestly that is a bargain you are getting expensive coffee well we're a little treat mate account. we're a little treat a little treat <laughs> i mean you know you never just get one treat now one of a kind the thing is it's an investment because it's a game so you're going to be playing it again and again but tell me about this one then Gavin. so what before do we do? i start showing you this and by the way there's yes. a reason why we we put this here was when we first launched it, it was the best selling product of its hour wow uh, okay so uh, i felt this was very very worthy of being it's a happy its hour place. product yes uh now this uses something which is called the stroop effect do you know leonie what the stroop effect no. is okay your brain is basically basically split into two parts and they do oh, yes. two very different types of functions now the stroop effect mm. is when you see a color yeah as a word ah. where it is printed in a different color to yeah, the yeah. name so for example when you see the word red mm -hmm. printed in blue yeah, yeah and your brain is working in two parts against each other and it's not quite sure what to process yeah so that is what we call the stroop effect right okay and it just begs to be turned into the odd game yeah. every now and again and this is what this is now this is a card game oh, and it looks like it's going to be so unbelievably easy and it's just not now I'm just taking some random cards actually I opened a new set so probably okay. my mistake is that I haven't shuffled them very well so I might just have to take some random ones now on a card yeah you have a color written as a word yeah and you have a number of times that appears and you have the color that it's written here okay. so the elements that we have here are we have one word yeah we have the color red 
and it's printed in black. Okay, yes. In order to carry on our sequence, we have to find a card which has none of a kind next to it. In other ah. words, nothing mismatched. Okay, okay, so okay. I could put this here because we're not matching the yep. colour yellow, yep. we're not matching the colour blue, and we're not matching yes. the fact that there's only one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you tell me as I go through so whether we can... So does it have do to match that one, or does it have to match both of them, no, the next one? The whole point is, there must be none of a kind. Okay, in other words, so, so nothing, nothing matches must match. any of this. So I'm going to put a card in front here, and you tell me whether you think we can use this card okay. as well. Okay, okay. that sounded so patronising, it wasn't meant no, to. No, 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 I'm not being patronised. <laughs> I'm just trying to concentrate. We can't put that. Right, why can we not put that because there? Because we've got black and there's only one. Okay, correct. Oh, yes. well, the one doesn't matter. All oh, right, because, because it, we're next to that, that card, so we're okay, only looking at this card. Okay, that's what I was saying. Do we take the all, one, or is it but that? Fab. we've used the word blue, and we've got this in blue ah, there. Okay, okay, okay. So can I use this one? Uh, nope. Okay, I can't use that one. What about this one? Uh, nope. Okay, what about this one? Yes. Yes, very good, because there's three yeah. instead of two, and it's in black, there's no black here, yep. and of course it's written in blue and there's nothing blue yes. here. Yes. And so you're playing oh, two like people this. against each other. Uh, Ashley, can you play with more than two? Yes, you're up to six players. Oh, you go. Well, and I, this uh, is seven plus. Now, I'm going to say something, is, uh, yeah. and the feedback we got when this was last on, because of how cheap it is, yeah. this is a perfect game yes. to give at kids' parties. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. seven plus. So just pass me, can you pass me the box Indeed, just for a second? I can. Oh, well, uh, I love it's, that, uh, Gavin. It comes, it's the sweetest good. little box. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's really, there's, it's chunky. There's loads inside there. It's stunningly beautifully made. Yeah. Um, and you want a few of these in your cupboard. Yes. So that when your kids or grandkids go off to birthday parties, you can give them something which, yeah. yet again, present. fun, yeah. educational, Christmas, yeah, not so big, so not so much wrapping paper yeah, required. Yeah, yeah, but easy to rip up. Wrap. There yeah. you go, and mm. six pound twenty nine. Yeah, I, I mean seriously, again, yeah, you're saving Bargain. more than you're spending. You like that one, don't I should you? Come back here. Don't again. you like that one? By the way, do you know what next week is? <laughs> next week is the fifth anniversary of my first show. Really? Yeah, my first show. Now, how many shows have you done now? 54. This is number 54. 54. We still haven't given talk obviously. back. No, I, still I thought today was the day I was going to get talk back. I was going to actually have to concentrate on more than one thing going on at the time <laughs> and prove that I really could do it. But no, no. because Dawn's broke and Dawn's got what would have been my <laughs> talk back. So never mind. Awkward turn. My, oh. first, my first show. Do you want to know who did my first show with Go me? Go on, who did your first show? Uh, Charlie Hopkins. Did it, yeah. Mr. Chops. Mr. Chops, in, in, in uh. that period of time, in that five years, he's gone and come back. Yeah, all I've right. I've got to do another show with me. <laughs> 54 shows. 54 shows. 54 are shows. Gavin. Well, you're, you're I really striking ought to go home them up. at some point. <laughs> so anyway, loads of cards here. This is a fabulous game. I love it really that. makes it, and it's you a know, speed game as well. Isn't it funny? Because does it, it feels good when you're making your brain matter work. Do you know, and games like this make your, your brain work and it Completely. feels good. Completely. It's a cracking game. It's also very good for um, travel and stuff like that. All yeah. I'm doing now yeah. is randomly putting cards out so that people can see the sort of range. And if you look at them yourself, your brain just goes crazy trying yeah, yeah, to yeah, work yeah. out yes, what's it does. there. You're and almost you, playing snap. Well, you know, you? if I take a random few here and just let's move these out of the way, okay? And I want you very quickly. 20%. Just, uh, did you say 20? Sorry, love, I stopped listening. Yes, he did. 20% stock's gone. Six Ooh. pounds and 20 okay. pence. Hang this on. is such okay. a good price. Right, okay. You approaching just jumped. I'm putting, hang on, yeah, yeah, approaching yeah. 30%. Right, but, uh, gosh, I'm doing too many here that are too similar. Right, go on. You tell me, uh, very, very quickly, yep. you tell me on here what those six colours are that are on the cards, the actual colours. Oh, uh, red, green, blue. No. No, in oh, order. What no, do you mean? no, there are six cards. I know what you mean. There are three colours, yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would go red, oh, red, 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 green, blue, blue, green. Right. Now tell me. Now tell me when. Now tell me what words are written on them. Green, 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 yellow, 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 yellow green, green, yellow, 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 red. Okay. Now, if you try doing that at speed <laughs> when you're looking at these cards, yeah, that yeah, yeah. becomes that's difficult. That's hard. So when you're trying to do the two things together, yes. that, so your one half of your brain can do one. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The other half of your brain can do the other one. Yeah. But when you start throwing them down trying and to playing merge a game, them together. Yeah. Yeah. it's a lovely, lovely game. Oh, I love this I one. This it's is awesome. great. And it makes you so competitive. Um, 988837. Was that the your item code? Um, that's my item code. Oh. Did you recognise that one? I did. Do I like remember it? from being 988837. Eight, three, seven. Boom, well done. Boom, well done. And, and we're do you know saving what? more than we're oh, spending. Oh, so what? £6.29, oh. Ben.
Friends, you're never going to forget that one now. It feels like I'm giving you a gift. And when um, the shopping comes tonight <laughs> and I complain about all the prices, I'm going to say, you come to Create and Craft and you will be saving more than you're spending. Absolutely. Can we buy our groceries here? <laughs> Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, now, next, please check your baskets out on that. That is so, so, so busy. I really like that. So far, in it is, because so far, are you doing what I'm doing? I'm thinking, right, so I can buy that one for such and such. I can get that one for me. I can get that one for me. Are you doing that? Are you doing the shopping list? Check I your baskets am. out. I am. I am. I want that one and I want that one. Um, now, next we've got for you now. Um, this one is a cracker. I know our Bernie's had a go at this, haven't you? Our Bernie on the floor. Um, this is your colour book. Immediately, I like the look of it because immediately I'm seeing a well-known game with all the shapes. <coughs> so it's like, oh yeah, already like it. I like the price, £11.69. Um, another absolute bargain, 650578. Now, I know we've got a little clip. Shall we talk through it first and then show the clip or Gavin? I think is that we should talk you? through it first and then Let's show the that. clip. Let's do that. Now, so, tell me, what this, do I do? I've got to tell you the story with this. Yes, please. The story with this is that about 20 years ago, a lovely couple uh, called Ian and Penny Jenkins invented this game for their children. Oh. And then they put it away in the loft and forgot about it. And then they saw our game, The Genius Square, which I know every single viewer Absolutely. already owns at least 17 don't. copies of. And if you don't... Hmm. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yes, and when they saw that advertised, they thought, oh, I wonder whether the Happy Puzzle Company might like our idea. Oh, my god. And that's gosh. how Colour Block... And I'll show you what the original idea was in, in, in a moment because it's absolute genius. What we've got here is uh, 24 different cards and they've got multiple puzzles on them as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to start by showing you something easily. This is, first of all, stunningly beautifully made. You lift up this thingy what's it here yep. and you put this inside here and it sits down there beautifully like Boom. that and we have these 18 shape pieces here okay. now because of the reflection i hope you can see this nice and clearly yes, we can. but That's what perfect. we've got here is we've got the outline of most of the shapes right and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to cover those shapes and they clock in I just want to listen listen to this this is beautiful yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, satisfying, isn't it? That? So, so oh. satisfying. Oh, I love that. Okay, now I'm going to very quickly fill out the dark grey pieces because the oh, dark grey okay. pieces show us where the things which we're not going to need are actually going to go. Okay. Now, there are lots of different types of puzzles that you can actually use here. <coughs> Excuse me. That one goes in there like so. This one goes in here like so. And you're going to get to solve this in a second, Leonie. Okay. So prepare yourself for a puzzle that you don't yet know what to do with. Yeah. But Bernie's in here and she knows what to do because Bernie's got one at home. So and Bernie she knows loves what's this. going on. Is that not correct, stage? Bernie? That's correct. That is correct, <laughs> you see? Okay, the master that... puzzler makes sure that his friends are here. Now, uh -huh. look, we've only got two pieces left. Okay. Now, if we look at the top here. Yes. What this puzzle tells us is that we need to be left with one of each of the 10 colors. Okay. So there are 100 circles on each of the cards, right. 10 of each color, and the 18 pieces will cover, oh, I didn't put this one in, the 18 pieces will cover 90 of the 100 uh, circles. So right. we're always okay. left with 10. Ah. The key thing is what 10. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to be left with one of each colour. Okay. Now you can see because oh, of the positioning of these, cool. the dark green is there, yeah. the white is there, the green is there, the purple is there, uh, the yellow is there, and the pink is there. Right. So there's only four colours that we need to be left with. So what can we see? Well, we need to be left with the blue, yeah. we need to be left with the black, we need to be left with a red, and we need to be left with an orange. Now you've only got two pieces left, so what I want you to do is position those pieces. Remember, this is the first puzzle, so it's relatively straightforward. Position those pieces so that you are just left with those four colours. I've already forgotten what I'm meant to be left with. You're left, you're meant left, to be with, left the with the, the orange, orange, the red, that. the blue, and the black. Okay, so do, oh yeah, we've got a pink. I could cover that up with, and then... There you are, perfect. Yay! 
me. You see, that my goes in there. My problem is, I've got like a two second memory, so I, I, I'd still forgotten. I'd have a little list. Okay. I'd have a list. I love that. Now look, let me show you, because this game really is a stroke of genius. And by the way, what starts off nice and easy, yeah. by the end so That's easy then, really, isn't it? That's really easy. That wasn't easy. Yeah, then, that's okay? really easy. So let me show you the different types of puzzles. Oh, so this is on the so other good, side Gabby. of this one here, gives you an example so on this one you're going to have to be left just with <gasps> 10 blue ones okay so you okay. can see where some of them go yeah. and as you progress through there are going to be less and less clues yeah. given to help you the third type of puzzle is this type here where you're going to have five of one color and five of another color yes. and you know what those colors are yeah and yeah. again you're having to identify you've got some that yes. are there for you and the fourth type of puzzle is where again it's five of one color and five of another color yeah you know what one of the colors is but you don't know <gasps> oh, what the I'm other sure it's color. a secret <laughs> absolutely oh, I love and that. they get harder and as you see as we go through there are less and less yeah. pieces that are given to you and more and more that you have to put in now it starts to get really hard the ultimate puzzle which is the original puzzle yeah uh, which ian and penny created is the last one wow. puzzle 24 which are and they 10 created different this things. for the kids they created this for the kids wow. now they there are to be quiet there are the, the well <laughs> no, it was 20 years ago i think they finished them by now <laughs> so there are our 100 colored circles okay oh my god it is possible there are no clues at all oh my gosh that's and difficult it is totally possible to do this so that you yeah. are left with 10 of each individual colour. So, so only 10 oranges, 10 purples, rich. 10 whites, and so on and so forth. That is a work that's of a, genius. That's brilliant. And let me tell you, that's tricky. I yeah. mean, that, that's yeah, 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 seriously, yeah. seriously yeah. tricky. So this is a really good um, puzzle to buy for somebody. It's an eight to that's adult puzzle. Brilliant. It's something to buy for somebody that really likes yeah. being stretched yeah. as well. You can start off oh. easy, lull them into a false sense of yeah. security. And then hit and them then with that. Mess with their head. Hit them with that beast. So that Gavin, is colourful. that black. is ace. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I love people who invent these games. I would love to be in there head that is genius i love that how much has gone sorry love 20 percent 117 thousand oh. percent of the stock has now gone <laughs> get you and your maths I know. um now please check your baskets i really really like that that is so cool but you know what's amazing eh? do you know what is really amazing the number N not just oh, oh i can do that go six on. five oh five seven eight <laughs> and <laughs> and we've got a vt to go with this oh we have indeed i forgot about that already yes. um it is another happy hour deal eight pounds and 30 pence saving club members um have a little look at this run vt <laughs> Hello and welcome back. It's one of those. Again, I'm doing the thing. Are you doing the thing? And you go, right, so my little nephew, nine years old, and it's one of those that you want to get him things that mean he's not on his computer. And you want to get him things that mean he's not on his computer. And he actually goes home and goes, yeah, I've had a good day, you know? Because it's hard for him to get him into stuff that it doesn't, you know, that ain't boring compared to what he normally plays. This is the kind of thing, because I know he will love this because it's that challenge. I know he would love that already i know he'd love them and it's stuff like that for kids that's and not just for kids obviously i mean i i'd love both of these already because it's it's challenging and it feels good and it's a bargain 
it's such a bargain. You can have loads and loads of games stacked up and it's cool as that, isn't it? You know when you've got all them games, who loves that? All them games stacked up and then it's like, right, we're having games day. And, and these are great because even if you're like, I'm, I'm on my own and things like this are brilliant. You know, if you're bored, you don't just want to watch TV, do this. It's so, so good for you because you're keeping your brain going and it's exciting because when you finish it, you're like, yes, I did that. And it's challenging. So, you're building up to something. So let me tell you something, getting slightly serious at the moment. There is mm. a big, big problem that we've got in society at the moment, which is we've forgotten how to actually look people in the eye and communicate yeah, 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 with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And that's because our lives revolve mm. around screens Computers. these days. And even yeah, you know, in terms of communication, I can yeah. tell you from my kids, as well that it's it's whatsapp yeah yeah, yeah you try yeah, taking yeah. the kids out for a meal oh yeah and literally if you say to them phones away yeah. it's like you've cut off their oxygen supply yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. they, they can't cope with it so it's very important that we remember how to do things with our heads and our hands yeah how to communicate with people yeah. and the skills that come from playing games together as a family yes that's not something that you can replicate with a yeah. screen I'm not saying that screens are bad things yeah because of course they have their place and they are fabulous learning tools but it's important that we never yeah. lose sight of the importance of sitting down and playing yeah. games together as a family and ourselves yes. using our heads and our hands yeah but I do have something astonishing to show you now because this is one of my absolute favourites. Are we of going all time. on to the We're going the on to cube. the Chroma Cube. I like the name. Which is cool. It's stunning. And it's it looks made lovely of wood. as well, It's I made of wood and it will sit beautifully on um, the coffee table as well. Oh, now, presents. The colours, the presents, right? Now, presents. The, co the colours. This here. is one for my dad. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Already I love it. Look at that. It looks pretty. Well, I hope you like some unusual colours because oh, yeah. apart from your normal ones here, like you've got your black and you've got your white, you've also got uh, magenta, teal, oh. mint, oh, purple, I like cobalt, it. cobalt. Oh, a bit of cheeky cobalt. Emerald. Lovely. Uh, mustard. Oh, nice. He brown. likes mustard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, Coral. Let, let me explain to you once, yes. we, once we know these things. This is what we're going to do. You actually do need to keep the names of the colours here because they're key. Okay. This is a game of of logical deduction it's very 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 clever so I'm going to take the first puzzle just to demonstrate to you because you've got absolutely loads of 24 puzzles in here as well so let's have a look what we will get here is we will get the opportunity to see how the first few of these are actually positioned so I'll put the white in there and I put the cobalt one in there purple goes in there mustard in here the brown one goes in here the orange goes next to it here and we've got the emerald down there and I think that should leave us I'm going with to interrupt you to say 10% has gone already we've only just started seeing this one 11 pounds 69 765583 do not miss out okay okay carrying on now we've got five left so what yes. we're going to know here is that we've got these five to position now we've got the colors there so we can see what the colors are okay so what we're going to get is a series of clues now that tell us where these are going to go so what we know about the position of these remaining ones is this number one coral which is here yes and magenta which is here yes are in the same column Okay. okay, now because they're in the same column, there's only one column, which is this one here, which has two spaces. So we know that one of them is going to go here and one of them is going to go there, but we don't know which way round at the moment. Ah, okay? okay, okay. So clue number two is that black sits next to magenta. Well, that means that it's going to go this way around because the only way that something can go next to something is where there's a space next to right, it. Right, okay, yeah, so yeah. So if we put the magenta in there like that, we now know the black goes next to it there like that, and okay, we now okay. know that the coral one goes in there. Excellent. And we yeah. also now know uh, that coral sits next to white, which is correct. We now know as well ah. that either the teal, okay, which is uh, this one here, oh, I like uh, that. or the black sits next to the cobalt. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So with that one in there like that, so let's go through what we've done so far. We know that coral and magenta are in the same column, which they are. Yeah. We know black sits next to magenta. We know that either the teal one, which is this one, yeah, uh, or black sits next to cobalt. Well, yeah. black is next to cobalt. And so it can't possibly be there. And we know that that one goes in there like that. So can we work out from that which one's going to go here and which one's going to go here? So so black is next to oh, well, the cobalt's there. Or so black is... I'm not... How do we use your key? 
I hope you got the black next to These cobalt. Are, this here is just the, the colours so that you can see what colours are what. You're uh, using just oh, this one here. Oh, I'm okay? reading. Yes, you're reading. Early on it. Okay, Duh. so we know okay. that coral Either sits next to white. Either black. teal or black sits next well, it has to, to be the teal cobalt. next to the cobalt because we haven't got that left. So which one do you want me to put? Um, your teal is going to go next to cobalt. So the teal is going to go next to the cobalt yep. up there. Yep, yep, yep. And that leaves the mint which goes in there. Yes. And if we turn over the card, we will see oh, <coughs> that you're absolutely yay. spot on. Amazing. Now, oh, it, like will not, so it will not surprise you to learn yeah. that as we go through these, it they're going to get well harder hard. and you're going to get less clues. And the clues get really, really complex as well. Oh. So again, even here, oh, I want this one where as you've well. only got, well, you can't have everything. I I want all of maybe them. you can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can just. I can go upstairs. I can make a call. Maybe I'll nip off now. I'm only joking. No, that's okay. As long as you know that your item number is seven five six five eight three, <laughs> and that and you're how saving much? a whopping, whopping eight pound thirty eleven <sighs> sixty nine for something which is normally nineteen pound ninety nine. Oh my gosh! And do you know what? I am a member of the Crate and Craft Club, so I am going to get that bargain. Boom! But you know what you do have to do. Join the freedom, and then I won't have to pay postage. No, oh, check out your basket. Indeed, you do. Indeed, you do. I mean, you can do the other thing as well if you want to get the freedom <laughs> pass as well. Um, but there you go, and these get much harder I as you that. go through. So again, love that. Somebody who is a really dedicated puzzler yes, yes. is going to absolutely love that. Oh, so I that love them all. is good. chroma key. Love that. Now, okay, we'll it put that one good. over there. It sounds good. It feels good as well. It's really tactile. And let me tell you, it tastes good. No, not really. I really haven't done <laughs> yeah, it. don't. Don't chew on them. Don't Even let the, the dogs. Even says mustard on it as well. Well, well. yeah. In my head, they thought they looked like little marshmallows. Um, at seven, five, six, Sorry, five, what, what, one eight, three. One, in what way? I know, right? Don't. What? Don't. Marshmallows? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Mouldy, right? Um, oh, well. Can I just um, tell you, I absolutely hate marshmallows. Do you? The three things that I hate yeah. more than anything else, I hate marshmallows, uh. followed by... Milk chocolate, yeah, yeah, dirty, and white chocolate, which dirty, has no dirty. right to exist. Yeah, no right to chocolate exist. This is, is just the frothy right. stuff on the top. It's just dirt. Give me dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Week. I am with you. Stick me on that desert island with mm. nothing but dark chocolate, mm. and I'm a happy bunny. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, you are 100% right. I'm probably right. not be eating chocolate, so there you go. <laughs> Shall we move on to yes, ice please. cubed? Um, now, right. ice, ice baby, £11.69. Oh, no, the details are changing. Um, so this is the next one that we've got for you, 078200. Um, your price, only £11.04. £4. Forget that. Be a club member. It means that price goes under £10. You're saving a whopping £7.05. £5. This is right. Come on. What do we do? Eight 1,963 million percent of the stock has already gone, so you better <laughs> hurry up. So, can I tell you about this game? Yes, please. Ice Cubed. Ice Cubed. Gavin Original. Is it? Is it? Is this one of your this yours? Is one of my, this is one of my originals, and I, got, I have to tell you this little story with it. I created this on Brown Sea Island, just off the coast of Poole in Dorset. Oh, I went as an accompanying parent on a school trip and decided that I was going to spend my time designing because they didn't need me to do anything. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, they got the last ferry of the day yeah. and they left me on the island. No, did <laughs> they? they? Oh they my God. Send, they had to send a rescue boat <laughs> to get me. And I'm busy phoning the headmaster <laughs> saying, where is everyone? And he's like, yeah, we're in the middle of the ocean. I'm like, well, thanks. Thanks for remembering that I was here. Anyway, this is a maths game. This is a uh, numbers game. Okay. People that like numbers games. And we've got 48 challenges here. Now, we have got here six ice cubes. And yes. they are colour-coded. And uh, they have, obviously, four sides to them uh, on each of these. Because we don't use the top and the bottom. They've got yes. different numbers on. Okay. And different puzzles. And we're going to just show number three there, just as an example. As an easy example and therefore we can see that we're going to use the white cube and we're going to use the red cube okay. and what we have to do is we have to put those two on here like so so that one's going to go on the top there like so okay okay Lock itself on the bottom and the white one will go on there like that could we move it a bit forward we can move it a bit so forward so that the lovely audience at home can Indeed, see before they can try before they buy that would be marvelous and what we've got here is we can move these numbers around now i think from the overhead we can probably see that we've got yes. numbers on here so we've got yeah. 27 35 31 and 24 and we have to make sure that every side adds up to that number Ooh. at the same time okay so 31 and 24 and 27 and 35 
So we've got the 24 and we've got 24 and a zero. So let's just yeah. try and see if I put the 24 and the yes. zero. We know that there. And then on this side, Ooh, we've got 17 it. and 10. OK. And on that side, Yay. you've got 30 and that 5. And on this side, we've got 28 and 3. Okay. So we've added up to those numbers. OK. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Simple oh, dimple. Oh, my little but we know what's going to happen. This as we, well. and we know what's going to happen. It's okay? going to get, it's it's gonna gonna get, get harder. Okay. So as we go through, we're starting to use more and more of the cubes. Amazing. And when we get really hard, really, really seriously, seriously hard, you get to stages like this where you know you're going to be Ooh. using four of the cubes <gasps> you have no idea which cubes yeah, yeah, yeah. and there are your numbers yeah that hurts okay they, yeah. it gets really and of course you're never going to be using all six of the cubes otherwise that would make it far too easy so you can only actually fit five on it any okay. one time okay fantastic so again this is a single oh, player that game makes it even harder yes, because it does. oh my gosh that's such a good idea yeah uh, and um, eight to adult on this one brilliant individual individual player game however very, very useful, particularly yeah. in the early yes. stages for helping to develop mathematical yeah, skills yeah, as well. Yeah. I think, yeah, again, because it's a good challenge. Again, yeah. my nephew would love that. An incredible challenge. I'd love that. You need to check your baskets out. Another cracking prize, uh, prize present for Christmas. 078200. Boom. 078200. £9.94. Um, next. <laughs> Are you spending more uh, than you're saving or you're saving more than you're spending or you're saving more than you're saving? Never mind. <laughs> right. That's now, fine. Pandemonium. Oh, Pandemonium is another Gavin original. Yeah, yeah, you. Where were you stuck this time? Well, okay. No, this time I actually wasn't stuck. This time I started <laughs> off with an idea. I wanted to do something uh, very, very original. I wanted to create an adult's version yeah. of a baby toy. Oh, cool. So I, decided to, I so basically decided to create an adult shape sorter. Yeah, yeah, I like so that. So what happens here is we've got all of these pieces here oh, and you and play love, against somebody else. Now, Gavin, that's hilarious because I love that it, it feels kind of like the colours, you yeah. know, everything feels like... And, Yes, it, you, it takes it, me back. Okay, so you're, you're starting off relatively easy, but as you go through, now look, these things have got teeth as well. They've got so teeth. You, they have got teeth, so you have to get them to actually go in the right place as well. They go okay. either way up, right. and they go on any rotation at all. Exactly the same with all of these pieces. So okay. the problem becomes that you're looking at pieces, and you think they're going to go in somewhere, and then they don't actually want to go in uh. there, even though they look like they're going to, but sometimes they might do if you actually turn them the other way up. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. we tie ourselves in not so we see maybe would that piece go in there now i thought that was going to go in there doesn't know that goes in and that is why this ties ah, you up in knots okay now, what so happened? it looks simple as usual but as correct usual, really and we have got and we have got six pieces each Amazing. okay so we make sure that we've got different pieces and then you simply follow the pattern that is on here to make sure that you perfectly perfectly copy the pattern if you see a white space that means nothing goes in there right okay? okay so you've also got to focus on making sure that you don't take the other person's pieces that they need as ah, well yes, otherwise yes, yes. they can penalize you for that and what looks incredibly easy just gets harder and harder and harder don't be fooled by those little teeth because yeah, those little yeah. teeth will really throw you off course as well um so with this one um do multiple people play it yes. or is it a fantastic you can either play it by yourself or yeah. you have everything that you need for two people to play Fantastic. this together. So as a, you can, as a you head can compete. To head. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. I like and that. And it looks, it looks yeah. so easy. But it isn't. It, again, like oh, a lot of these puzzles, go. they will send your head. You see, you think that's oh. going to... Oh, you hey, did, that's good. I'm dying but you to... would need to make sure yeah. that that was going to go where you wanted to. And you might have a piece like this, which is very similar. I like that one. That you would look and yeah, think, yeah, 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 say, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah, see, go on, try and get that piece No, no, it won't, because it's the wrong one. Oh, this is... Very good. It's one of those, isn't it? You want to, yeah, you want to play. Now, the other question is, the 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 actual colours. Obviously, they need to match the yes. colours on there yes. and the spaces. And you have you have all the pieces that you need so that you can both do everything at the same time. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So this is a proper race, but you can do it by yourself. Yeah. One of these games where you're literally sitting there and you think to yourself, "Yeah, this is a doddle. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Can, I can do this in five seconds." Yeah. And then guess what happens? And you cannot. No. I love that because again, it's that challenge. Okay, that's a cracker, and I really like the fact that it does um, take you back you know that you feel like it's that that's that false sense of security yep. because it, it feels like yeah you are you know playing with something that is that's designed for children and then actually it's really really tricky and um, love that it's another really cool saving as well 11 pounds and 69 pence 366 480 
we're doing well. Look at us, we're nearly down the counter. Uh, please remember some of those favourites. Please do not forget um, your none of a kind. That is one of the favourite favourites. Um, the colour block, also one of the favourites on the show. Do not forget those. If I could, um, ha oh, there's at least four games, five games that I'd be wanting right now. Of course there are. <laughs> oh, none of course there are. Of course there are. Yeah, uh, well, none of you got it, so that's <laughs> going to go up as well. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, none of a kind. That is half the stock gone on none of the kind, so please check your baskets out with that. Wow. I know, right? That is busy. If you do want none of a kind, no wonder. Have you seen the price? £6.29. 60% of stock has gone. 988837. Gavin has only got one hour today. I do not want you to miss out on anything. Please don't forget Colour Block. Colour Block also really, really busy as ever. Uh, with that one so I don't want you to miss out on that these are perfect for Christmas don't just think Christmas though this is an everyday um, happy day isn't it this is an everyday gift any birthday or just because presents at this price uh, six five zero five seven eight now next time got it oh this looks good there's loads of little symbols um, again brilliant price it is da, 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 only 12.99 forget about that you're bound to be a club member which means that price drops to 11 pounds and 69 pence five four zero one nine eight tell us what we've got so i'll tell you first of all how the game got its name because yeah, it's right, great then. because when we were doing the testing it was actually called something else it was called Grawlix originally now here do you know what a Grawlix is no okay right I, I challenge somebody uh. and before the end of the show I will tell you what a Grawlix is without looking it up if anybody knows what a Grawlix is spelt g-r-a-w-l-i-x Grawlix and you're not at creatingcraft.com and you're not allowed to google no you're not allowed to google only if you know what a Grawlix is okay okay uh, I still have no idea why they called the game Grawlix but a Grawlix is an interesting thing it's one of these things you go oh, I've seen a Grawlix we've all seen Grawlixes, we just don't know that they're called Grawlixes. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, when we were doing the testing of it, <coughs> what happened was every time somebody completed one of the challenges, their instant reaction was to go, got it. <laughs> and yes. we decided that it was much more explanatory <laughs> to call the game, got it. So, yeah. this is the world's first game that uses British Sign Language, yeah. uh, semaphore, braille, uh, hieroglyphics, and Morse code. Oh, wow. As well as some additional codes, which we basically made up. Uh, <laughs> I like as well. that. So now, you're on. For each turn that you have, and you've got bucket loads of these cards, this and they've is all super got. Super busy, eight, everybody. You've got uh, eight different uh, challenges on each card. Now, the, t the, the themes, the categories of these, are all very common so the questions are not difficult name these famous literary characters uh, name the movie stars name these things you might find in the fridge name these types of shops things you would find at the dentist and so on and right. so forth on your turn yeah you roll the die good die and it comes up with the number that you're going to have to get to and they're all sort of jumbled on each side and you okay. see what the code is now everybody who's playing you can play uh, up to four people amazing uh, playing at the same time oh, you get your crib sheet cool. so you can work out what it is and you've got to use the codes to work out what is on there and then on the reverse side of the card, where you also have another set of questions, you'll see the answers that are on the back ah, there. So fantastic. if we look at things you will find at the dentist, those are eight things in the eight different codes. And it turns out if we were to solve them, they would be dental nurse, receptionist, waiting room, floss, dentist, x-ray machine, drill, yeah. and dental mirror. Fantastic. So you are racing against the other people who are playing. And these do come with a stand so that you can stand them up and see them uh, as well. So lots of people can play at the same time. That's Clever. The skills that are developed by doing this yes, yes, are yes. absolutely unbelievable. And best of all, inside the booklet as well, you've got a little history of the codes as well. Oh, because if you've got cool. youngsters playing this, and this is another eight plus game, yeah. to actually let them know what Braille is, yes. why it exists, yes. how Semaphore came about being used with all the flags, yes. and the boats, etc. Et yes. <coughs> Morse code. British Sign Language. Oh, that's so there is no other game yeah. in the world yeah. that does this. That's so educational. so educational yeah. as well. Yeah. But it's fun yeah. because code breaking 
is a fun activity yes, that yes. everybody loves doing. Yeah, absolutely, because you really feel that you, I mean, even though it's a game, you really do feel like you're, you're working it out, that you're yeah. understanding that you are breaking this magnificent code. That is such a good concept. Um, again, a really, really good deal. And oh, it is a, it's something that you're gonna enjoy with the full family. Brilliant for friends as well. And this is a lovely thing, you know, if you're getting together with friends, having party nights, um, <coughs> games nights with friends is such good fun. There's so many of my mates that love that, that love just getting together. Well, me, myself, actually. Um, just love getting together and playing games and things like this. They're really, really, um, they're stimulating for your brain and you talk about it. You know, it's it's one of them that um, that you do, it, it sort of inspires conversation. Now, if you do want to get hold of this one, absolute bargain, £11.69, 540198. Now, it has got busier and busier as we get near the end of the show. We've only got about 10 minutes left. I hate that it goes so quick. Oh, Leonie, did anyone know what the Grawlix was? Oh, has anyone emailed in? Nobody. No, I'm going to tell you what a Grawlix is. Tell so me what it is. When you look at a cartoon, yeah. and, uh, and one of the characters in the cartoon says something that can't be printed uh, and it is ch -ch 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 replaced by symbols, yeah, yeah. that is a Grawlix. Well, I didn't know. Now you learn something Boom, new that's today. That's good knowledge. That is what a Grawlix good is. Good knowledge, I, Gavin. I love that. Um, I didn't even know it had a name. No, me um, neither. Yeah, it's just sweary words, isn't it? It's just sweary exactly. words. Um, if you want to say, got it, you need it. <coughs> 540198. It is only £11.69. Really like that. Next. Fluzzle. 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 That's a great name. Yes. Well, you Fluzzle. see, like, like we had with Geography, where yeah, it was yeah. an abbreviation of Jigsaw Geography, Fluzzle is an abbreviation of Flower Puzzle. Oh. There you go. Cute. Uh, this is a game where you can play uh, as a head-to-head -head as well. Oh, good. Hope this comes up well on the screen. And what you're having to do here is you're having to create your own flower garden. There are 12 different oh, flower gardens. Right. Uh, and you roll the die to decide which one you're going to be playing in. And then when you've got this, I'm just going to show you with one because I'm looking at the clock and yes, seeing yes, yes, 10 how minutes quickly left. it's going out. Just oh, really not much time left. Uh, and we'll click hey, this inside lot, here. Though. We've done good. We've actually done amazing. We've, we've done, done more than good. I thought we were going to do. And what we've got in here is our different our different gardens which we're going to try and build now on our turn yes we roll the die which i put down somewhere a moment yeah. oh here it is it's all right i put oh, it here not, no, not it's this, one. This, this one here ah, okay okay and you are playing against somebody else now you you take seven of these random flowers from the bag and you keep on replacing them as you use them and what you'll see is that there are three different types of flowers so you've got tulips and you've got um roses and you've got the other ones, which are flowers that I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? Sunflower. Those are the ones. Sunflowers. Daisy. Daisies. Daisy. Thank you. And each one comes in three different colours as well. And there's loads of them in the bags. Okay. And you're getting a random hand, almost like you would sort of do in, in, in Scrabble as well. Super. Okay. Okay. When you roll the die, yeah. Okay, it will give you a shape. And on your turn, you have to create that shape on here. However, mm, what okay. you're trying to do is to score the most points you can in each of your flower beds. Right. For each flower bed, the most number of points you can score is if you have identical flowers in every part of the flower bed. Right, okay. If you have either the same flowers, but in different colours of the same flower, so you yeah, can yeah. have all tulips, but different coloured tulips, yeah, yeah. That, or different flowers, but all the same colour, that's your second level. Right, okay. And your third level is just random flowers filling yeah. it up. And yeah. you score points for each one of these that you actually fill up. And the fill game up. finishes when one of the players can't go on anymore. Yeah. And you've got these different shapes that you roll here. And each time you use some of these, you simply uh, the you replace your, your flowers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you have tokens that you can use three times during the game in which you can actually change your flowers. So if you ah. haven't got anything that you want, you can flip them there. It is a lovely, lovely little I game. I like that. Yeah. That's one of those. It's a really nice quiet afternoon one, isn't it? Yeah. That one, that is a really, really Beautifully nice... Beautifully made as well. The yeah. pieces stick in there very, very nicely. It's a shame we haven't got more time yeah, uh, to actually a play that. But that is that Fluzzle, and that is... Uh, <laughs> oh, 13, 13.45. Only £13.45. Instead pence. of 22.99... I tell, I tell you, it's a bargain, our Gavin. Um, that's a cheeky bit of fluzzle. I'm, di I'm dying to look at the curveball. So you've got the curveball. 
Obviously, this is the next one. Sorry, I zoomed on because I know we've only got a few minutes left. We are running um, out of curve time. Ball, we are running out of time, but we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So, if you want curveball, £10.99. pence. Obviously, uh, you're going to have a better saving club members. It's gone under a tenner. Uh, that's £9.89. 746181. If we want to use VT, we're going to have to be quick. Yes, we're going to show the VT because basically this is a ball that is weighted so it doesn't go where you think it's going to go. Ace. And so, several months ago, we made this VT of yeah. me demonstrating. If I can get it to go. Of course, it went completely the wrong direction. So, I ought to have tried to work out. I'm off camera now as well. There you go. I, ought, I did try to work out exactly where the waiting was. I'm going to actually come around here this time and see if I can get it to go around here. So, I've turned the waiting around this time. So, hopefully this time it will curve all the way around. So, let's try now. Oh, I just missed ah! it. That was, that was pretty impressive, though. And as if by magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, it'll be all right on the night. <laughs> this is the craft store. Ah. Right, let's just get that back over here. Come up. Oh, right, just about. I'm going to try it one more time now. And what you get with this is a whole load of challenges. So you can either play uh, yourself or you can play it with someone else. This is enormous fun. And you can do it on more or less any surface, outdoors or indoors, probably not on the grass, because uh, that will send it even more wayward. But let's try one more time. I want the, that's it, put it on this side, I think. And it should curve the way I want it to go. Oh! <laughs> that was, it's almost coming back to me like a boomerang. Oh my gosh, that, could you that, was, that was so close. But there you are, that is curveball, and it's a lovely game. I really like that. Back in the days I when really I used like... to shave. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want a cheeky bit of curveballing, that is such good fun. Imagine playing that with your mates, especially if you've had a, a tipple or two. Um, now, 746181 is your item number. Again, under £10. Now, we've got one more that we want to do. I'm just going to remind you, though, uh, that none of a kind seriously busy if you want that one you do need to check your baskets out remember under 10 pounds that is such a good game and um, that is definitely one i wanted to put in my basket six pounds and 29 pence nine eight 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 three seven eight percent of stock has gone uh please remember as well we've got the color block that's a cracker really really loving the chroma cubes as well half the stock has gone on your color block so if you do want to get hold of that one um again the these are happy hour prices. The hour is going is nearly ended. The prices are going to go up. You do need to check your baskets out to get these incredible savings. Six five zero five seven eight. We've got one minute, so that means enough time to get suited and booted. So quickly, suited Gavin. is a card game. Another Gavin original, by the way. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. Um, basically, why do cards have to have? suits that are either black seconds. or red yes i'm looking at the clock uh, they don't have to have black and red they can be whatever they want and they can have any number of quantities on them and you this basically breaks all of the rules of regular card like games that. i know and you'll have to look online if you want to see exactly how it works but this is an award winner a gavin original etc etc and we have 25 seconds for me to say Goodness me, we got through a hell of a lot. Yes. And that was enormous fun. We had, we've seen so many, and my gosh, my shopping list now is as long as my arm. Uh, Gavin, thank you ever so much. That's been an absolute pleasure. I love it. I love your puzzles. They're so good. Please check your baskets out. Get those prices. Uh, what deals. And all we need to do is hand over to Gavin for the menu.